Can you say that? Our series, Changing the Game, highlights extraordinary women making a difference now and for future generations, you could say, during Black History Month. We're focusing on black entrepreneurs and creators. This morning, we've got to introduce you to Aza Reyes Bellamy. She's the founder and CEO of Blondery. That's a bakery that specializes in blondies, which are like brownies, except they're lighter. And Aza Reyes says, and better when she's doing it. <laughs> Bellamy is a trained pastry chef who worked in some of the top kitchens around the world. She found it hard to grow her career in the fine dining industry. So she said, you know what? I'm going to start my own. Bellamy started selling her baked goods online in 2017. Customers can now buy them at her bakery in Peekskill, New York, and around the world on her website. Azareas Bellamy joins us. Look at, I love your storefront. That's nice. You. Thank so you. So, why did you decide you were working with some of the top chefs in the country, Thomas Keller, per se, French Laundry? I know all those places. Yes. And you said, I want to do this on my own. Why? Well, I hit a glass ceiling. I think that. Fine dining in a whole is really good. It's kind of like the military. You learn like the skills, the techniques, and then you kind of want to be creative. And I wasn't able to be creative there. Mm -hmm. So I and branched out. So you started in your home kitchen yeah. in Brooklyn. And you no. no. In California. In California. In California. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got it wrong area. here. Uh, so. Uh, but it does say you started selling blondies online back in 2018. Yes. You went from making $2,000 yes. in 2018 to $200,000 in two years. years. Yeah, that's a big jump. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah. That is big. Thank you. And I read over half a million. Um, and yeah, like you we- did what over, say again? We did over half a million in sales last year. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> what do you think, other than they taste really good, I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna try them in a second. What do you think the secret is to that growth? A good product. A good product. <laughs> Talk <laughs> about <laughs> it. But what a do you think product. makes yours a good product? What What is we different from yours? We use the best medicine? ingredients, European uh -huh. butter. We use guitar chocolate, Varona chocolate, um, King Arthur flour. And we have a beautiful space as well. I think that that matters. My mom yeah. always says, you cook in a nasty kitchen, you're a nasty cook. So does she say that? Yes. Presentation <laughs> does matter. Tony, yeah, you can matter. wait for us, man? Presentation yeah. does matter. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> we have a lot of food here. That's the pecan and salted caramel. That's what it started the business. It is delicious. Well, let me go ahead. I'm, I'm going to jump in on well, that pecan. So um, what is your advice to someone who is sitting at home that might be working under an umbrella and thinking about taking that leap, that leap of faith that most mm -hmm. people are scared to do? Yeah. What would you tell them? If you want to take the island, you have to burn the boats. So Ooh. I think that that's important. Like, burn all the bridges you can if so you can't If you want to take the island, back. you have to burn the boats. I'm feeling that. Yes. That I think is it's amazing. important. It's a, like, because you don't, the plan B is what's going to mess you up for your future. OK. Now, you don't so have a plan B. That is not a 10-layer cake. That is an 11-layer cake. 11-ish. 11 11-ish. It's probably more. OK. <laughs> all right. I mean, what goes in, what thought process goes into creating something like that? I just wanted to create something super decadent. And I did it during the pandemic on Instagram Live. And people loved it. We raffled it off. And it raffled off for like $500. So I was like, oh, I could probably sell this for maybe half the price. So it is $250. And it's devil's food cake, chocolate buttercream, vanilla buttercream, salted caramel ganache, mm. toasted pecans. And then we have one without nuts as well. Oh, are, are there my. many black pastry chefs who do what you do? I mean, just in the business in general. No. Yeah. I mean, so there, there's tons your... of black pastry chefs, uh -huh. but Tony. not at the Good scale, opinion. I would say, that I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And I hope that there becomes more. So I have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. where I'm sharing, like, how to ship perishables. It has over 40,000 views. Um, how did you learn how to do this? Was your mom a good cook? And how long was the no. process? <laughs> and how long Sorry, was the mom. process? Yeah. <laughs> how do you get this good? How many um, years did it take? It took me 10 years to refine the pecan and salted caramel blondie recipe. Ten wow. Years. Um, but you get good by mastery. You do it over and over and over and over until you get it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gil, so it took me Gil, over 10 years. Gil, she got it right. <laughs> you got it. Gil, she got it right. You should this take it. amazing. <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, my goodness. That's a smaller version of the layer cake. Oh, thank you. I love when, you, <laughs> when we said it's in Peekskill, you go, it's just an hour away. Yes, just an hour away from Grand Central. Because that does seem, that seems so far to me. But oh, you're no. saying no. It's closer it's, than Beacon. And it's a community of brown and black people. That's what I love about Peekskill the most. Because mm -hmm. when I first got there, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a community of people who look like me. Mm -hmm. And then the mayor is a black woman, Mayor Vivian. And before that, it was a black man. And I just was like, so supported. The community is so supportive in Peekskill. I thought I was just going to do retail just to see what it's like. But 
um, and then like shut it down, but we can't do that. They wanted us there. <laughs> this is clearly a passion for you, clearly. Yes, and my team. I have a team too, and they all are very diligent at their work, and I appreciate that. Azarez, I, I apologize Bravo. for my lack of professionalism <laughs> because I lost focus after eating this. This is amazing. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Yes, really thank thank you. you so much. We'll be right back. <laughs> mm. This right here, oh my. This right here. Because sometimes you taste something sweet and it's overwhelming. Yeah.